Here's a solved problem. A monatomic ideal gas with a known fixed number of moles, N, undergoes the thermal process described by the PV graph below. Please note the scale of the graph. We are told by an informed source that at state 1 the gas temperature is T1 equal to 325 kelvins. Calculate the temperature changes in Kelvin that the gas experiences while transitioning between successive states until state 4. So we are finding the temperature change going from 1 to 2, then that going from 2 to 3, and then that going from 3 to 4. Let's notice the scale for the volume. The grid is in steps of a half liter or 5 10 to the negative 4 cubic meters. The pressure is in steps of 10 to the fifth pascals. The first part is an isobaric process because pressure is constant. We can write the ideal gas law twice for the state 1 and state 2 and then solve for pressure setting P1 equals to P2 because it's a constant pressure process. We can solve with a little bit of algebra for T2, the temperature state 2 as V2 T1 over V1. So let's go back to the graph real quick and we measure that V2 is 1.5 10 to the negative 4 and V1 is 0 0.5 10 to the negative 4. The units meter cube will cancel and in fact we get 975 kelvins which is greater than the initial temperature. The temperature change is going to be 975 minus 325 kelvin or 650 kelvin. So that's a temperature increase. Next, from 2 to 3, it's a generic process. It's neither isobaric nor isochoric. P and V are both changing. We can write the ideal gas law twice for states 2 and 3. We can actually write NR, the constants, as either P2, V2 over T2 or P3, V3 over T3, setting those two equal to each other we can solve for T3 and find P3 V3 over P2 V2 times T2. Going back to the graph, we have to read out the uh, volume and pressure at state 2 and volume and pressure at state 3. Please take a second to do that and write down the values in your notes. So, if you did read out the values correctly and notice that the units will cancel both units of pressure and units of volume, that is equal to 2438 Kelvin. So the temperature change going from 2 to 3 is in fact positive 1463 Kelvin. So that's another temperature increase. The last part is a constant volume process. The moving wall was locked in place in some way, so it's not allowed to uh, move anymore. The gas cannot expand, and we can write a ideal gas law for states 3 and 4. Solve for the volume V3 and volume V4, set them equal to each other, and then compare the right-hand side of the equations, and then solve for temperature T4. So temperature T4 is P4 over P3 times T3. Going back to the graph, P3 is 9 10 to the 5th Pascal and P4 is 3 10 to the 5th Pascal. So it gives us 3 ninths times T3, that is 813 Kelvin. The last temperature change is in fact negative, that is minus 1625 Kelvin. So in summary, the first temperature change from 1 to 2 was positive, the second was also positive, and the third one was a temperature drop. Think about this now. Can you use the given information in this problem to find how many moles of monatomic gas there were inside the container? Thanks for watching.